Well, hello everyone. Welcome to season four of Truly Bedrock. Here we are. I just logged in the world, literally getting all the uh, <laughs> chats from everybody. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing this place for the very first time. Now, most of you probably have already seen this place. Our server mates have been on here busy as usual. And we... We have some things that we need to do and some catching up that needs to happen. So I, of course, wasn't able to join in the shenanigans for episode one. So here is our episode one. And what I want to do to kind of start things off is I want to just have a look around. Looks like we started in a village. Looks like somebody's selling stuff. Ooh. Somebody's already been to the end, of course they have, and yeah, I don't really know kind of what's going on. I know we have a giant mountain. Oh my goodness. It's 1.18. We have so many things going on, so many things, that I have no idea what's even happening. Um, so yes, day one stuff, right? <laughs> I know we're going to need to get ourselves some wood. We're going to need to chop some trees. We're going to need to probably go down um, into some kind of mine shaft. Oh my goodness. Oh lordy. There are things happening. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Th that is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Uh, we do, do, however, need to take a, um, <laughs> little quick screenshot of our coordinates of where the starter area is. Um, oh, we've already got an enchanting room? Wow. This is insane. This is totally insane. We got a little place I guess we could explore? Yeah, I think... Typical day one stuff, right? We need to get ourselves some wood. We probably need to go mining. And I think what we're going to do is chat. We've had a little look about. But I want to bring you guys kind of up to speed with where we're at. Our thought process. A um, couple other things. Ideas. And just all around general consensus of what this season is going to hold for us. Ooh food <laughs> um again we need to grab some wood I, I don't know if i'm chopping somebody's trees down we can replant them as we gather some saplings but it, i'm excited i'm so excited to start here on truly bedrock season four and we're not too far away from spawn spawn is just over the hill over here and I found this cave, it was unlit, so I started diving through it, and we've got ourselves some stuff. Uh, we went deep, that's why we've got the deep slate, but a few things that I've realized is ore generation has vastly changed, right? Um, so, we're not going to be able to mine at Y11, at our typical old school Minecraft, and be be fine so we're gonna have to mine in different y levels like i was down in the negatives and i didn't get much of the coal here which i have quite a bit of it now um but it's just rethinking how we did this and i do have myself as you see some diamond tools and stuff we are going to go back down low and try to find some more diamonds because Ruva has a couple of things for sale, like a shulker box, that I really like, especially early on in the game. Uh, I did manage to get myself a busted bow from a skeleton. So that is good. Trying to find my way. Not here. Nope. Um... So yeah, there, there's a few things that have to change with with ideas and stuff. Okay, yeah, this is where we went. This is how we went. And going through some of these larger caves and stuff, man, it does get extremely confusing to, <laughs> to navigate and stuff. Uh, but large caves are good for mining. Uh, we're just not mining at that level. 
Um, from what I've read, this is honestly the level in where I should start kind of strip mining if I want iron. Right? Y16. And so, we're going to keep that in mind, but I do want to go further. I want to try to find wherever I was at. Aha. This looks familiar. Which way did I go? I did go this way. So I went I went down. We went down. Uh and we found some stuff like lava and things. We did create ourselves a nice lit path to get back and forth. Um, and I think I was mining at like Y negative fifty three. Ooh, but I think that's not the correct Y level to mine at. Um, did have to kind of look it up. And they were saying that uh, you're looking at wanting to mine at like Y fifty nine. Then I saw one that says Y63, so I don't know. I don't know what the best mining level is. I just know I want that iron. And this is this is what is fun, you know, when the new updates come out, is trying to figure all this stuff out and get ourselves um, situated. But I did want to bring you guys in and have a these getting out of here is going to be a blast, right? Here we go. Here's where we were. Um, did want to have a little bit of a chit chat with you guys. I am going to. I had to go back up to get torches. And look at that, just like that diamonds. Probably should have enchant or at least looked at enchanting my pickaxe. Um. But I'm gonna have a look around this cave, and I did. I did get my first death. Just in case anybody wanted to know that, we got that out of the way. We have one. <laughs> uh, I was running at night, trying to get away from some mobs, and yeah, I got myself. In trouble with an Enderman. Oh, come on. Run, 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 run. And so he took me out as I was trying to run back and hide. Yep. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks, but... You know, it's alright. There's some gold here. There's a slime. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we're just we're just trying to get ourselves geared up is what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna continue lighting up this cave so that we don't have any issues with uh mobs trying to rain down upon our heads. Ooh, look at that. That is neat. Ceiling diamonds. Um And then we'll do some chit chatting about plans and things like that for uh this season. So I wanted to bring you guys in and talk a little bit about our plans, our ideas for this season. Because, in typical fashion, when I start these seasons or seasons end on Truly Bedrock, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> That's just the way it goes, and typically I wait for inspiration to hit. And <clears throat> when we were on season one... Um, I think it was a couple of episodes in before I found that inspiration. We were doing some Ocean Monument raiding. I believe we did a live stream on it. And when I saw the Ocean Monument, it kind of... How do I describe it? It, it spoke to me in a way. And what I mean by that is when I saw the project immediately ideas and inspiration flooded 
I thought about all the different things that we could do, not necessarily building at the one that we found, um, but having the main facade of the base and then going down the tubes to the ocean floor to other things that we could create and things like that. And that's where the inspiration behind Season 1 came from. And then when Season 1 ended and we rolled into Season 2, which was the Nether update, I mean, I knew I wanted to build in the Nether. We had talked about it quite a bit, or at least I had talked about it with a lot of people that would listen. <laughs> and, um... I knew... I, I kind of went back and forth with my ideas because my original idea was to build in a um, nether fortress and kind of revamp a nether fortress. And then as time went on and I did some searching across Google, I found a castle um, that really fit the bill of what I was envisioning. And so we kind of moved our ideas around a little bit and the inspiration just, just hit me. Um, so that's what I tend to do. I tend to wait till something speaks to me, like in Season 3. Season 3, my original plan was to stay at spawn, but of course I had forgotten about the chats that we had, which is only my fault, <laughs> but in fairness, we've gotten better every season with um, communication and ideas and what we are going to do. Ooh, that's a lot of iron. I like it. Um... And, and build ideas and build locations and things like that. We've only gotten better since Season 1 as a server as a whole. So, um, the end of Season 3 comes around. Um, or, I'm sorry, Season 3, we're looking at the tower and stuff at Spawn Town. I, get, I gained some inspiration from Jesse and her tower, and then... Rolling through Google Images once again, I get excited when I see the tower that we inevitably build. And the ideas were starting to flow about, oh, we could build this, and we could build that, and we could do this, and we could do that. Um, obviously, my, my tower was a cone, so some of the ideas I had had to be kind of changed, but there's no big, no big deal, right? Um, let's go right here. We'll just, we're just going to do a little bit of digging, a little bit of material collecting. That's what the first couple of days are. I don't necessarily need a lot of copper at the moment, but copper is a very easy material to come by. So rolling into season four, um, I did actually post a little bit of a picture with potential, um, for like a base build, and if you guys didn't see that, that's because you're not a part of the Discord, and you should go down in the description down below and join up. Every now and then I do post things like that, and uh, we chat in there. It is a quiet place, not a lot goes on, but some information can be found there. Um, so my wife had done some Black Friday shopping, and it looks like our pickaxe is about to die. So we need to get back up kind of towards our little hidey hole area. Um, and, and in the Black Friday shopping, she went and bought a bunch of movies because she's a collector. And when she does that, she typically checks the movies because she buys them used, which is great. And um, <laughs> it's funny that I know my way. Very funny. Um, but anyway, she was watching, I think it was Zootopia, and that's the picture I actually found. It's like an asylum that's on, like, a cliff, but there's waterfalls all the way around it, and, um, I just thought it was a neat-looking build. And, and I gathered a little bit of inspiration from that. A couple of ideas floated through my head, um, uh, but it's not, it's not the route that we're gonna go. It's really not. It's not the route we're going to go because the seasons of Truly Bedrock have been rather rather crazy, to be honest with you, right? I mean, we've had the moon blown up. We've tried to repair it. We had it crash into the nether. Last season, I don't even know what was going on because I awoke in a weird place. 
So I don't even know if that season was real. Yeah. <clears throat> I just don't know what is what at the moment. So, with that idea in mind, I think what we need to do this season is we need to take a look at the old... The old sun and moon. <laughs> Ooh, there's builds already happening. I've been hitting, This is my little hidey hole. We are just around the corner from... I think I showed this off already, but... There's spawn. Right there. Mm hmm. Hmm. I might be spoiling something. Sorry. Um, but I think we need to keep an eye on the sun and moon. Which, if we look, I believe it's setting... I believe that is west. And that is north. Not 100% sure. But... With that, with keeping an eye on the moon and seeing what's going on, and maybe even the sun, we don't we don't know. The the idea started to flow, and so what I have planned is to build an observatory. Mm hmm. I think I think that's going to be the best way, right? We can watch the moon, we can analyze things, we can kind of track what it's doing. If any kind of weird anomalies start happening, um. We, we can do experiments, we can get some, we can try to find some moon rocks, see if anything's hit, um, and see, see what's going on, see how, what happened in season one, what happened in season two, what the heck was up with season three, I, I'm completely confused, so, we're gonna start somewhere, you know, we kinda hid in the nether, and we kinda just, uh, da, 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 nothing's going on, everything's fine, but I, it's not. It's not. And we need to to start paying attention. So, with that being said, uh, after I get some of this iron and stuff smelted up and we start repairing our, our pickaxe here, uh, I'm probably going to try to roll a little bit of an enchantment maybe on my uh, pickaxe. And we're going to make a bucket and a couple other things. And as you would have seen, um, I did pick up a shulker box. There is a reason for this. I have a lot of materials in here that I do want to transport with my person. Um, mostly, mostly this cobbled deep slate is the thing I'm looking for. Um, I do love being able to get this a little bit easier than the last version. Um... But yeah, we're going to transport some of the valuables out of here. We're going to transport some of the food and stuff. That has to come with us. I mean, I earned that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a lot of these valuables need to go with us and hang out and move some of the stuff that's here. Some of these things like the mob drops, I think we can leave. The food for now can stay. Uh, things like cobblestone we're definitely going to want with us, but this area is not, like, done, right? This is going to be my little hidey area for the moment, um, but we will pack up some items and we will start heading towards exploration and finding ourselves a location. That's what I want to do. Well, after a little bit of wandering around on a creative world and... I downloaded the test world for uh, season four so we could find a spot. There were some really nice spots I was looking at kind of up there and over here-ish, but I think DB is up there, um, and we have a couple other people that are going to be behind us. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't notice that before. We need to go check that out. Um, but I did land on top of this mountain here, and we did put up a little sign. We are... Um, I'm probably spoiling something, but our hidey hole was just over there. I did look on top of this mountain as well, and this spot here was probably the best one. I have since moved all of my stuff over from the cave, and I've died twice. Um, <clears throat> the second time we died is because we ventured off into the nether to do some enchanting for this pickaxe right here. So that we could start getting more items. So, a couple of things need to happen. That is, we need to repair our pickaxe without spending too much money. 
And we need to grab all of our stuff that we were smelting, which was a bunch of iron. A little bit of copper. Which it looks like I didn't get at all. And of course, another brick. Um, because we're starting to gain materials for these builds that we have planned. And it's nice to have ourselves a, a bit of materials, so we've got that on us. But before I forget, I think I want to go down there and see what that bad boy is all about. The problem is, snowier snow is a real thing. And you can see the, it's hard to see, but you can see the snow layer here and no snow layer here. This actually looks like snow, though, according to its texture. So we've got to pay attention to that. And worst case scenario, if we get bogged down in some snow, snow or snow, we can simply just, you know, dig it out. It's no big deal. I haven't died to the snowy snow yet, but it is, it is quick. And it is very dangerous, so we are going to have to do some work uh, at the top of the peak, or the top of our little hill there, to start getting done what we want to get done. But, got ourselves a nice little location. I just wanted to check this out. Somebody else has already been over here. Okay. Yep, already been over here. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Uh, we could dig this out. We could take all of the nether rack out of here if we wanted to. Um, but I think I think we're just going to spend some time uh, in the nether digging. Because we need to get our hands on some nether brick. You guys know what we need. We need some uh, soul soil so we can get a basalt generator and start getting some basalt. We need all of the normal materials to start um, building the build. That we have in mind but first i want to get back to the top of this mountain check this neat little thing out that i kind of saw out of the corner of my eye um the other day when i was finding the location to my base we were we were climbing up this mountain which was on the other side a little harder to traverse this side actually ain't too bad uh, and I'm going to need to actually dig down probably to this layer here uh, to fit the build that I want to fit. Um, but I noticed Foxy has a new little add-on pack that a allows me to make this little avatar with a armor stand and my head. And I don't know, I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, I know what this is. Oh, dang it. Yeah, there's the snowier snow taking effect. It's so cool. Um, but what? <laughs> can we can we make it do things? I bet you there is a way. Oh, let's not punch. Let's not punch ourselves. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, I I think there's more to this. Um, because I seen. I seen what looked like Jazzy and Lee sitting over the spawn towns just over there and barely make it out. Um, that's really, really neat. Yep. So, what I want to do now is, I guess, hmm, I guess what we're going to need to start doing is we're going to need to start building our base. And... First things first, we got to dig down these three layers-ish. As I said, we're going to set up our build so that it is facing this way. As we can see, the sun is setting this way. And this is kind of the first time that I actually want to build um, utilizing correct location of sun and moon. But the moon's going and the sun are going to rise from this way and go across the sky and set behind us. So that means this is west. No, east. That's east, that's west, which means that should be north, and that should be south, if I'm correct on the cardinal directions, which I'm probably not. <laughs> um, but because we're building on top of a mountain, there are some things that I want to do that are kind of like 
I don't know, realistic maybe? And what we're going to do eventually is dig down in certain spots and set like pylons um, so that we have a strong footing instead of just building on top of the snow. Obviously this is Minecraft and our build isn't going to sink, but in real life, building on top of something like this would not be feasible. That is so weird. I love it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to clear out some stuff. We're going to, we're going to set some pylons and we're going to do some digging and some building. Maybe in the next episode, I do want to do a little bit of a stream before then and get to the nether and just figure some stuff out. So I need to go collect a little bit of sand. Yeah, sand. Because <laughs> we need some water bottles and things. And um, I actually got, weirdly enough, an ancient debris. I'd like to get about 35 more of these and start looking at getting some better armor and things. The iron armor isn't too bad, but she's been beat up pretty good because of all the times we're getting shot at and stuff in the nether. Uh, a little bit of enchanting and stuff like that wouldn't be bad as well. There's actually an enchanter just over there. I believe that is Silent's house. <clears throat> so, with that, we are going to say or bid farewell for episode one. There's a goat. Probably going to the last one that was up here headbutted me into the snows. Hilarious. Um, we should have captured that as well as the deaths on camera, but hey, you can't get everything, right? Um, so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching episode one here. Let's get started and start cranking out some more episodes. Hopefully after the end of this episode, we're going to do a little bit of a live stream. That's hit or miss. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching as always. You guys know the routine by now, right? Fourth season in. Like, comment, subscribe, description. All the information's in there. How to follow me. How to follow Truly Bedrock. How to follow all the other members. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.